In this video, we're going to focus on how we can draw multiple lines here on our stack bar chart and making sure that we control the overlap by indicating which line should be drawn first, which second, and of course the bars as well. So let's start look how to draw a stack bar chart with multiple lines in Chart.js. So what we're going to do here is first of all, make sure you have the border template, which you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. And this link you can find as well in the description box. If you want to support my channel, check out my Patreon page here, which you can find as well in the description box. And finally, join the Discord channel so you can have your, your questions posted there and I'll make sure to answer those as videos. So let's start to look at what we need to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have a stacked bar chart. We're going to say here on the y scale stack equals true. Then I'm going to say here, which you see below, on the x scale stack equals true as well. If I save this, nothing happens yet. So what I want to do now is just going to copy all of this and just add up here our second data set as a weekly sales number two. And to make sure we have a stronger or different color, I'm just going to grab one of these colors here, maybe the black color. Put it in here so it's a solid black color chart. And as I do this, you can see here this works. So now we have this here. What I would like is, of course, to have a line here alongside. So let's put in here a line. I'm going to copy this here for a comma. We have this, and I'll say this will be our line. This is the line or line number one. If I save this refresh, you can see it becomes a bar. And let me just grab a different color so we can see that this is our line. There we are, save. There we are. So now we get this green. Let's convert this now into a line by saying comma type. We're going to say here this will be line. By doing this, while we have specified here the bar, it will mean that this will be specifically a line chart. And as you can see here now, it starts to work and it's slightly behind the other items. So how would you do another one here if we can copy this? But you will see we'll get a new challenge. If I save this, it's a line number two, but I'm going to grab a different color. Uh, let's say this bluish color here. Put it in there. And let's say this will be a border of three, and this one may be five, so we have thick differences. As you can see here, we have line number two. And that's the bluish color. Because of a stack effect, it stacks up on top of each other. I don't want this stack effect on our line. Secondly, I want to make sure that this line will be up in front or, or on top of the bar instead of behind being overlapped by the bars. So how do we do this? Well, let's start to work on solving the overlapping. What we can say here is basically the following. I'm going to say here, these lines, put a comma, I'm going to say order, order of drawing, meaning that which one will be drawn last or will be on top of anything else. So it's order number one here, and we can copy this and say here, comma, and order number one. If I save this, nothing happens yet. And the reason why nothing happened is we didn't specify what would be the order of the bars. So what I'm going to do with bars, we're going to copy this, put a comma here, say order number two, and this one here, order number three. So as we do this, you can see now the lines will be drawn first and then anything else or at least these will be on top. So what I want to do next is of course, this stack effect doesn't make sense. They should, if this is 12 and this is 12, they're same value, but because of the stack effect of our scale, it becomes an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create here a comma and I'm going to create, put a comma in there and create a new item. Let's call it our Y line. And the Y line will begin at zero. If I save this, refresh, you can see here now we get a scale or a second scale. What I want to do with the second scale, move it to the right side. So I'm going to say comma, position, right, save. There we are. Now what I want to do is I want to align these values that we indicated these values must be matched in here. So to do that, I'm going to say here, comma, and then we're going to select which y axis ID 
it should be matched with and the one that we want is the one we have specified here y line you can give it any name you want as long as it makes sense so we're going to copy that and copy here above save refresh and as you can see here right now it is here uh side by side overlapping or it's overlapping on each other right now because of the same value if i change the value here and let's say make this number nine and we'll make this number nine and here number nine save refresh you can see here now it is hidden underneath here and that's basically it because of our order of drawing it's same order but if we do number two it will not matter as well because you get the same effect except now maybe the blue one would be overlapping which is fine if our overlap here we can make this thicker so you can spot the overlap compared to the one behind there and that's it